Samsung deserve a lot of kudos for this app. It's a great app for controlling the camera. I've not had any glitches with it. It just works. It just connects with the camera and it works long distance as well. I think I've been more than 10 meters away from the camera and still been able to control it with this app. On the app, there's three different viewing statuses. There's a mobile device where you can see everything you've got saved to your mobile. It's Gear 360 that shows you the videos that are currently in the camera. If you want to view what the camera is currently seeing, you can press that and you get a view. It shows you a globe view. It shows you what the two lenses are seeing. Or it stitches together a panoramic view. You can change which lenses are working. At the moment, both lenses are. You can change it so that just the front lens is working. Just the back lens is working. And back to both of them. You can change modes, you can shoot video. Within video, you've got different resolution settings. These are your different resolutions. You've got timer settings. The timer's handy if you're just using the camera on its own without the app. You can set it to 10 seconds, set the picture to take a picture, and then you can run away from the camera. If you're using the camera with the app, you probably want it set to the off setting. You can change exposure, you can change white balance, and you can change, you can turn on and off HDR. Personally, I've not tried this yet. You can hide these settings by clicking that button there. There's also extra settings as well. This applies to whichever mode of the camera you're in. You can set the ISO, the sharpness. I've tried the sharpness, I've tried testing it, and I've found the with sharpness on, sometimes the pictures aren't as sharp. Strangely, you can cut the amount of wind that the microphone picks up and I've said before that the, the, the microphones are actually very good and I've not had to use this yet. Auto correct angle, I've not tried this so far. What this seems to do is fix any wobbles that the camera is doing, probably good if you're using the camera in motion. Add the logo to the bottom of the page, this is a little bit misleading. I thought it would add a, you could add a lo your own logo to the bottom of pictures, but it's not the case. All it does is add a Samsung 360 logo to the bottom of your pictures or your videos. If you look at one of my other videos, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to put your own logo at the bottom of your videos. You can turn on and off the sound and LED, battery status, storage, user manuals, firmware, etc. Changing mode, you can go to photos, Within photos, again, you can change the resolutions from 30, megapixels, 30 megabytes to 14 megabytes. You've got the timer again, exposure, white balance. When you go to time lapse, again, you've got the resolution. You've got how long you want the time lapse to be. Again, the timer. And then on video looping, you have the settings, how long you want the video loops to be timer, etc. So you can use the app to view pictures or videos that you've recorded. Um, all you have to do is click on the thumbnail. It shows you a little preview of the picture and then you can click and it'll stitch the picture together and you can then use it 360. There's a few different views that you can have. There's a motion view. What it allows you to do is when you move your phone, it then moves the view so you don't have to use your finger to drag the view around. You can have its 360 view, which allows you to view the 360. You can have dual view, which shows you the two different camera views. You can have panoramic, which shows you a panorama. Back to the 360 view. You can also view this, your videos and your photos on your Gear VR. But sadly, it's only if you've got the Samsung Oculus Gear VR. All you do is on this state, insert the phone into your Gear VR headset and then you can view your videos and your images. Sadly, there's not a way that you can use this app to make it work on your Google Cardboard or any other devices. One really nice feature about the camera is that it can take time-lapse footage. You set the interval of time that you want each image to be taken and then the camera stitches these images together in the form of a video. But 
when you try and import this video into the Action Director software on your PC or Mac, the software does not recognize this video type. And when you're using the app and you try to export the video, it tries to downsize the video to change the resolution to something a lot less before you can output it, which makes for a really crap and pretty unusable video. I think Samsung need to look at this uh, and get that sorted within the software and within the app.